The situation in Haiti is worsening by the day, and the world seems to have turned a blind eye to the escalating violence. But we cannot continue to brush past it. Haiti is in crisis, and it has been for many years. Around 5.2 million people are in dire circumstances due to escalating violence and exploitation. The assassination of the president in 2021 left the country in a state of chaos, with local kings fighting for power amidst the ambiguity of leadership. Over 2,000 lives have been lost since January, and thousands more suffer displacement. These gangs now control a significant portion of the country, including 60% of Port-au-Prince. This has resulted in frequent kidnappings and cities that are just unsafe to move around. Gangs in Haiti have a complicated history. Past presidents have built alliances with armed gangs, elevating some to the level of personal guard. Gangs are often pit against rival parties or even the military, making it extremely difficult for ordinary Haitians to get around the country or conduct their daily lives. Now, to better comprehend just how these recent events have become so severe, we need to rewind a little. In 1804, Haiti became the Caribbean's first independent state after gaining independence from France in the Haitian Revolution. However, this freedom came at an immense cost as Haiti was coerced to pay reparations to French slaveholders and eventually the U.S. for its independence, draining the nation's resources until as late as 1947 and paying nearly 20 to $30 billion, which severely damaged the nation's ability to prosper economically. Also, much of these funds came from exploiting one of the world's most diverse forests at the time by cutting down trees, an act that has made them increasingly susceptible to natural disasters. All of this has left Haiti grappling with a crippled economy and decaying infrastructure, which has been paired with ongoing political corruption, constant invasions, the assassination of four presidents and nine deadly natural disasters, including the devastating earthquake in 2010 and the more recent 7.2 magnitude earthquake in 2021, which further buried the nation in debt as it attempted to rebuild. Now, throughout all of this tragedy, one thing that has remained constant for the people of Haiti is their resilience. Haiti is going to make it. They just need a little help. And we cannot let this cycle of devastation persist.